All right, we're doing a driver side brake job for a 2005 uh, Toyota Highlander, the V6. Um, we're gonna be changing the pads and the rotor. And uh, after you take the wheel off, secure, lift up the car, secure the car, and start to push your caliber all the way back. You can do it like this, or after you get the caliber out, you can push it back with the C-clamp. See, I'm going between the pad and rotor. I'm, I don't care because I'm changing the rotor, so I'm not worried about this rotor, but if we're not changing the, load, the rotor, so we actually gonna go in the middle of the rotor and push. But in this situation, we're changing the rotor, so. That's it. We have two bolts for the caliber, 14 millimeters, and we have two bolts for the bracket. Back there is 17 millimeters. So let's get to it. See, that's not that bad. Well, actually, because we're changing the other side as well. Yeah, this side is not bad, but I'm gonna change both sides anyways. You remove your hardware. It's a lot of rust here, but it's just surface rust, it's not dangerous rust. All right, got it was loaded, ready. Just to clean up the rotor. Rotors usually comes covered with oil or layer of kind of grease to protect it from rusting. So what we're doing now is just to clean this. You don't really have to do this, but it's good. So when you start using the, the brakes, it won't smoke, it won't give you that burning smell. All right, so we grease the pins inside. We put them back in there. Um, it's a little bit rust where the calibers go, where the uh, bracket goes. I just put a little bit WD-40, so next time will be easy to come out. And now we're ready. Caliber bolts, not very tight. That's good. That's good. I just put this lug nut just to hold the rotor in place while I'm working here. But, and this side is finished.